Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back. Today I'm going over to the great state of Maine and checking out a beer from Portland, the Maine Beer Company, and their Zoe, their Zoe Brew. It's labeled Our Happy Hoppy Amber Ale. comes in this 25-ounce uh, or so uh, bottle, a little smaller than that, I think, actually. And it's brewed in Portland, Maine. The interesting thing about this company is that they... Uh, uh, so our, they brew their batches in, in limited bottles, so they don't brew too many of them. Uh, they want to focus more on the quality rather than the quantity. And they support a number of environmental causes. As a matter of fact, their brewery, according to their website, is uh, powered by water power, which is kind of nice. So about the, uh, the beer itself, this one is uh, uh, from the uh, 2009 batch and uh, comes in at about a 7.2% ABV. So, let's take a nice look at the label. Not a whole lot to the label. It's just kind of a nice smiley face on the label. Uh, pretty simple and to the point. And I'm going to pour this glass into my Tully's glass from, also from Maine, from Wells, Maine. So let's give it a pour and see what it looks like. I've been letting it sit for a little while, so it's not really being served ultra cold. It's being served at, eh, I'd say around 40 degrees or something in that vicinity. Well, this is definitely an aromatic beer, and I haven't even uh, tried to give it a whiff yet. As you can see in here, before I really uh, comment on the aroma any further, that's a very nice brown color, and the head is maybe uh, just about uh, a finger and a half, maybe, and the head is kind of a nice, silky, sort of beige, tan color, uh, lightly bubbled, kind of soft and silky, and you know the type, uh, frothy. Uh, seems to be hanging on pretty well. Decent lacing on the glass itself. Now let's give it a whip. Most definitely, uh, hops. Yes, hops are definitely a leading aroma in this first whip. But they're very, they're very pleasant. They have a nice boldness, a pine kind of like, like a pine tree or something like that. Uh, it has that sort of aroma to it bottled condition, by the way, so I probably could let this sit around a little bit longer. Okay, so I like the aroma. Very hoppy. That is really um, the best way to define it. Uh, maybe something kind of sweet in there as well. And a pine kind of forest feel to it. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Well, the taste also is quite hopped up. Um, it's It's got a really bold hoppy taste to it going on. Um, bitter hops. It's there from start to finish. You get it at first, you get it during the tasting, and you get it as you swallow it. It's a really uh, very bold hoppy taste. Though maybe not quite as uh, bold as you might get in an IPA. I, I don't know if this is their way of calling it an IPA. They're calling it their Happy Hoppy Amber. I'm not sure if that's their name for an IPA. If so, uh, this would be, I guess, an IPA. But I'll tell you that hoppy aroma and hoppy flavor really are the leading ingredients that you get here. Hmm. And it makes it a very nice beer. Very very tasty beer uh, on top of it. So uh, if you're into hops and you want to support local farmers of Maine, you might try to see if you can find this. I'm not sure how widespread it is. I picked it up in Maine, so I'm not sure if it's outside of New England much, but uh, if you do get to the uh, beach and find a place like Tully's in Wells, Maine, I'm sure you can pick one up there and you might enjoy it. So thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.